Burning fossil fuels like this lump of coal releases the energy we use to power our modern world. But it also produces carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas. That's why, in a couple of weeks, world leaders are meeting in Paris to make a deal that will determine the future of our climate. Their aim? To stop the world warming up by more than two degrees compared to before the Industrial Revolution. So why two degrees? What's so special about this level? Well, the hope is that this limit would avoid large, potentially irreversible changes to our ecosystem. Things like the complete melting of the Greenland ice sheet, which could eventually lead to seven meters of sea level rise. That's more than twice the height of this fence. But no amount of warming is safe. Some scientists and policymakers reckon that one and a half degrees would be a better bet. Others reckon that global temperature is too simple a measure of the Earth's well-being. But for now, it's the target we've got. So how do we hit it? The more carbon we burn, the hotter it gets. That means a limit of two degrees also limits the amount of carbon we can burn. To have a good chance of staying under two degrees, that limits us to burning about a trillion tons of carbon, ever. That might sound like loads, but let's say this is a trillion tons of carbon. Well, then we've already burnt about this much since the 1850s. That means all the other carbon we know about that's this pile, about two and a half trillion tonnes, has to stay in the ground if we're going to stay below two degrees. But at this rate, we're going to have burnt through this pile, this crucial trillion tonne limit, in just 20 years. So who gets to burn the last fossil fuels? How do we make sure the rest stays in the ground? And what does a world that's two degrees warmer look like? That's what leaders are meeting in Paris to try to work out.